Hi, I'm Allie Edelstein with Education USA, and I'm here today with Lauren Mueller, a senior international admissions representative from the Savannah College of Art and Design, also known as SCAD. There are almost 5,000 undergraduate institutions in the United States, and a common question that we get from international students and Belgian students in particular is how they begin to narrow down that search. So is there any advice that you can provide to those students as an international admissions representative? Well, that is definitely a common question that students have when looking at universities in the U.S. because there is such a wide range of options out there. And you have schools that are very specific, like SCAD, which is a specific art and design focused school. So we have over 40 different programs focused on art and design. Everything from architecture to fine arts, performing arts, industrial and furniture design, design for sustainability, the list goes on and on versus a liberal arts university, which might offer a degree in political science or history or something along those lines. Uh, so first of all, students really need to try to determine whether they're interested in studying art in a liberal arts environment or whether they're looking for something that's more specific to art and design. And I think one of the nice things that uh, SCAD offers for our students is not only do we offer classes specific to art and design, but we do offer things such as language courses, psychology, anthropology, political science, and students are required to take a plethora of these courses as well so that when they graduate, not only do they have a specific area of knowledge in, let's say, photography, but they also have a well-rounded background in several other areas of study, which makes them more marketable when they graduate from SCAD. That's nice that students have a wide range of courses that they can choose to take their freshman year while they're still trying to figure out what area they want to study and specialize in. But at what point in time must students at SCAD decide what direction to pursue? Well, usually our students are going to decide by their second year. So it's a four-year program, four-year bachelor's degree. And that first year they do have some elective courses in their curriculum, so they could take an introductory class in several different areas of study. And then by the second year, that's when they will decide on their major, which would be their primary area of focus. And a lot of our students will also choose to take on a minor as well. Again, when they graduate, that gives them two areas of expertise, which makes them more marketable in the industries that they're interested in. And that's not just because that's the way SCAD does it, that's not to say that every art and design school is going to uh, approach the choice of major in the same way. Some schools will ask students to choose right away what their area of focus is going to be. However, since we offer such a wide range of programs, we really want students to have the opportunity to take classes in several different areas in order to determine what they're really truly passionate about and what they'll be excited to pursue as a major program as well as a career in the future. When speaking of art and design schools in general, can you tell international students a little bit about what a portfolio is and how you develop that during your time at SCAD? Yes, and the portfolio uh, can be very confusing for applicants. That can definitely be one of the most confusing pieces of the application process because every school typically is going to have their own specific guidelines for what they're looking for in terms of a portfolio. So some schools will be quite specific in terms of the type of work that they want to see from applicants, whereas at SCAD we're much more general and we would like to see a student's best work. And that can take several different formats. That could be visual work, that could be a visual portfolio, or a written portfolio, or an audition tape, as well as a digital portfolio, or an equestrian portfolio, because we do offer an equestrian studies program at SCAD as well. And something else that's a little bit different is because it is such a general portfolio of work from the student, it does not necessarily need to reflect what particular area that student is interested in studying once they arrive at SCAD. So for example, if a student is interested in studying architecture, but they have no prior experience in architectural drawing or models or anything along those lines, but they do have really strong work in, let's say, sculpture and photography and jewelry making, then that would be perfectly fine for them to apply with whatever their talents are as of now. And we will obviously teach them 
all of the basic skills that they need to then move forward in their program. Can you tell international students a little bit about the general value of having a degree from a U.S. institution? Sure. We have students coming every year from over 100 different countries to study at SCAD. And so they are coming from all over the world and they're uh, leaving us and going to work in many different places around the world as well. And I think our students really have an advantage in the fact that we have a campus in Hong Kong that is new as of a couple of years ago. We also have a study abroad location in Lacoste, France, and we have other off-campus program opportunities as well. And through these opportunities, students really gain exposure to different cultures and different languages and can really see beyond uh, just their, their strict classroom walls in order to help determine where they would like to go after they graduate. And because a U.S. art and design degree, whether it's a BA, Bachelor of Arts, or BFA, Bachelor of Fine Arts, is recognized worldwide, students really do have that option of working uh, beyond the U.S. borders if that's what they're, they're looking for. Okay, well, Lauren Mueller is, again, the Senior International Admissions Representative from SCAD, and we appreciate you answering our questions and being here with us in Belgium today. Yes, thank you for having me.